Hello, everyone. Welcome to Advanced Massage Seminars. This is Victor Terrazas. I hope everybody's having a great day today, and I hope that these tips that we're going to be talking about really help you grow as a massage therapist and give you some insight and some options that you can implement into your everyday life as a massage therapist in your in your practice and your in your personal development, your professional development. Speaking of professional development, it's really really important to get continuing education and that's what today's podcast is all about. It's really learning and, and advancing in your career as a massage therapist, learning new techniques, learning some business approaches that work, um, choosing the right courses that are going to fit your needs. One of the first things you need to do is look at the direction that you're headed in as a massage therapist. Are you looking into learning more um, clinical work? Are you looking into learning more spa and wellness work? Um, some other type of modality that really defines who you are as a therapist um, that can help you reach your target market and, and build your business um, soundly and wisely. I think in the beginning when most of us get out of school and we're really excited about the field, the most important thing for, for most people is to start building your client base and start um generating revenue so that you can, you know, support yourself and your family and pay off your school loans or pay your rent for your office. And so there's a lot of dynamics that come into play right in the beginning when you first start in your in, in your new career as a massage therapist. But as time goes on and you become more and more successful, and for everybody that's a different pace, you know, and also the definition of success is different for everybody and I don't want to kick a dead horse regarding that, but I think you really have to explore that when you are um, growing as a massage therapist. So you've got to put your plan together. Which direction are you headed in? And your direction may change after a few years. You know, it's interesting for myself in the beginning, I really focused on, on learning clinical work and pain management and, and things like that. Now, 14 years later, I really want to learn much, much more about spa treatments and wellness and um, just relaxation modes, because I think that's really, really important. And I'll tell you, look out for these signs for yourself, because there's no point in continuing to take workshops that that don't meet the needs of the direction that you're headed in um, or that you may be losing interest in. Don't be afraid to try new workshops that aren't necessarily on the same line that you used to take uh, because you're going to grow as a therapist. So that said, it's really important to evaluate where you're at periodically so that you can really find out if you're doing the type of massage that you really, really enjoy. And one of the ways to find that out is to, you know, get out there and take some workshops. The other benefit is, of course, your clients are going to really enjoy your new techniques and your new approaches to the field. So that said, again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I hope these tips give you some insight and hopefully a little bit of inspiration as to continuing to learn and, and bringing some new techniques to your business and to yourself. Have an awesome day, everyone. Enjoy yourselves. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you next podcast.